Let's bring you some more reaction to President Trump's performance at the Republican National Convention. And joining us now from Texas is Republican strategist and host of the 13-minute news hour, Bobby Erbily. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on Sky News this morning. So just firstly, what do you make of Trump's speech just a couple of hours ago? Oh, I thought it was, it was great in the contrast between this week with the Republican National Convention and last week with the Democrats. It couldn't be more striking. It was gloom and doom. President Trump is bad. And this whole week has been uplifting and inspiring. And President Trump, his speech was long. I've been up since he gave the speech. Uh, but it was it hit on all the right notes. This this power, this this greatness of America, the the ability to achieve through opportunity. He laid that all out, and he also laid the case out for law and order. And as you have probably been following, there's been chaos in the cities here in America, cities run by Democrats. And President Trump pointed that out. The top 10 most crime-filled cities in America are run by Democrats, and now the Democrats want to lead the country. I thought he did an excellent job of laying out the case of not only what he's done for four years, but why he should get reelected. But what has he done, though, for racial tensions? Because as you mentioned there, he laid the case for law and order. But what he didn't do was to raise the case as to why there is disruption going on in the streets, why people are out there on the streets protesting. Well, the, here's the thing is that this is why his message, getting it directly to the people and why he's been so successful at rallies is key, because what he has done, and he had a great line in his speech today, he has done more for the black community in three years than Joe Biden has done in 47 through historically black colleges, funding those, prison reform, jobs, the, the black community, the job, the unemployment rate is at historic lows. There's more jobs, the wages are better, and he is reaching out to these communities. He's offered to help tap down the violence in all of these communities. The Democrat mayors, the leaders in those cities, have not wanted it. So if anyone is stoking racial tensions, it actually began in the Obama administration, but it has continued with these Democrats not wanting to do anything about the lawlessness because they know the chaos, the anarchy, the riots lead to fear and fear leads to control, which is what the left wants. And let's talk about the current pandemic, because currently America is sitting at the top of the list when it comes to the yes. country most affected. Let me just give you some stats here. America currently sitting 180,814 people have died from coronavirus. America is at the top, as I said. Brazil is second. India is third. More than 5.8 million cases. And yet we see about 1,500 or so people at this um, convention without masks so close together, no social distance, and surely he's going to be judged harshly for that. Well, yeah, I have a feel the Democrats are already making that an issue. They have already did that as soon as the convention wrapped up, as soon as that speech wrapped up, they were talking about it, but they really have no standing, neither the Democrats or the media, because if you get 15,000 people together, as we've had in some of these protest rallies, the media don't care. The Democrats don't care. There's no social distancing, no masks, yet somehow protesting and then rioting and vandalism is okay, but getting together in these smaller groups is bad if it's to support President Trump. So we've seen the cases going down, hospitalizations are going down, everything is moving in the right direction, schools are reopening across the country coming up for this, this fall term. So we see everything moving in the right direction, yet the media still want to criticize everything that the president does, even though you have bigger gatherings with these protesters, but they don't seem to care about that. Bobby Erbley, thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, friends, thanks so much for watching. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll be notified. And here's a special video just for you so you can watch even more of the 13-minute news hour. And don't forget to check out GOPUSA.com for the best in conservative news and commentary. We'll see you next time.